Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use velocity to control the attack parameter of an ADSR envelope in contact. So I've created a new instrument, just did that by double clicking, like that, and I've mapped in some oboe samples, we'll have a listen, an out of tune oboe, but an oboe nonetheless, and Listen to the attack on the samples. Now we can soften that attack using the ADSR envelope. You can use different envelopes, but the standard way is with an ADSR envelope. And what that's going to do, it's going to basically fade in the sample. So to add an ADSR, uh, I've already got one on this instrument, but basically what you do in whichever group you're applying it to, or all your groups if you've got edit all groups enabled, you're going to go to the modulator section in the amplifier and there's the envelope I've already got but if you didn't have one you'd go to add modulator envelopes AHDSR click that and it will add a modulator. So we've got one here the AHDSR if I click that it pops up down here in the modulation section and this is the attack parameter and this curve which you can edit with this knob here, that's basically the sort of fade in ramp. And then this knob controls how quickly or how slowly the uh, fade in takes place. So we'll listen to the attack again, then I'm going to boost the attack parameter. So you can hear the greater the attack, the longer the attack time, the slower that fade in takes place and the kind of smoother the attack becomes. So generally if you're playing softer you're going to want a softer attack, you're going to want it to be slower and when you're playing with a harder velocity or a higher velocity playing harder on the keyboard you're going to want more of an attack and that's kind of to simulate real instruments. If you blow into um, an oboe for example uh, with more force you're going to get more of an attack or a more noticeable attack and uh, it's just kind of to simulate that so to do this we go to this modulator section down here so this is the modulator for the ADSR envelope we're going to click add modulator select velocity and by default it assigns it to attack but you can change it to any of these parameters here we're going to stick with attack and now I'm going to open up this table window and this allows you to edit the curve of the velocity. Now I'm just going to use it kind of as a visual aid. But the idea is uh, if I play a key, you're going to see a line appear in this table. And that's going to represent the velocity I'm playing. And then if I play a bit harder and harder still, and now really soft, so you can see depending on what velocity I play at, that line appears at different points here. And now, because this modulator is linked to the attack, if I play softly, watch this little orange light in the attack knob there. If I play softly, we get a shorter attack time, the little light jumps around. And if I play harder, the light is further up. So. The default behavior here is you play soft, you get a quicker attack, you play hard, you get a shorter attack. Is that right? No, you get a longer attack. We're going to want it the other way around. There's two ways to do that. One is to just swap this envelope around. Um, that's perfectly legitimate. You can do it that way. Or another way to do it, if I pull that back up there, another way to do it is to just click this invert button. And that does the same thing, it swaps the values around. So if you play hard, you'll get a short attack. If you play soft, you'll get a, a slower attack. And that's basically all there is to it. To it. And you can adjust this um, velocity curve to change the velocity sensitivity. So if you don't really want to do anything until you play really hard, you can set it here. And you can do the opposite. 
and you can do all kinds of things in between. If you want to add another point to the curve, so you can do like S-shaped curves and things like that. Something vaguely resembling an S-shaped curve. You just right click on the line and it'll add another point. And you can also right click on those to get rid of them. These little circles in between, if you just click and drag on them, you control the actual curve between the two points. Uh, right, I think that's all that needs to be said on that subject. Yep, looks good to me. All right, thank you for watching. Hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you next time.